Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. We are going to make another fun domino project. So let's click new and choose 3D design. This one is going to be called Spiral Domino. And my plan is to give you a starter and have you make something way more incredible. Let's start by going to settings and we're going to go big this time. We're going to make it 1000 by 1000. Backspace, make that 1000. Backspace, make that 1000. Click out here and boom, you've got a huge world to play with. Now we need to make our domino. We are going to make it with a cube. And I'm going to tell you these are the numbers I'd like you to type. 16 six for the thickness and then 28 for the height this is the domino i am choosing to use i want the radius to be two and press enter we're going to make it white and today i'm going to get even smarter we're going to turn it into a reusable shape so go to your creations make sure you have it selected hit create shape and of course name it domino if you want you can add the tag domino do not lock the part size and hit save shape now we can reuse this every time by simply coming back to your creations so today's spiral project goes like this switch to five millimeter nudge let's do Control d three clicks forward one click right i'm going to zoom in a little bit so i can see the handles and i want to rotate 30 degrees I'm going to get close to 30 and then I'm going to just click and type the number to get that negative 30 I wanted. Without touching anything else, do control D and we want to go one past half a circle. Just like that. Now we're going to click on this piece and we're going to do control D and we're going to do two clicks over, three clicks out and we're going to rotate this an extra 20 degrees. I'm going to just type negative 20 because it's easier. Make sure you do not touch anything else. And then when you do control D again and again, check it out. Our spiral goes past. Once again, same trick. Friends, once again, we're going to click on that. Do control D. I'm going to go two clicks over, three clicks up. And let's do that rotation. This time I'm going to just do negative 15. And once again, if we do control D again and again and again, it spirals all the way around making a wicked cool domino course now you can keep playing with this but right now i'm just going to show you how to actually launch it i am going to launch it like this today let's go back to basic shapes i'm going to bring out a rectangle i'm going to stretch it a little long i'm going to make it real skinny and then i want to use this to knock that one over so i'm going to get close to it i'm going to lift it up Control up is another way to lift it real easily. I'm going to switch back to my one millimeter nudge for my rotation and the thickness of this. So I'm going to make that down to one. I'm going to rotate it, say 10, 12, 15 degrees, whatever you want. And then let's do control down and move it in so that when we have a projectile, it's going to start our project. And then we will lock this so it doesn't move. Let's finish by bringing out our projectile that's going to start. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift and make it a little smaller. I'm going to go to size 10. I'm going to lift it up with the cone or control up and let's move it out. Notice I am running it right into this so that I can tell that I'm lined up. See how it runs in? And then I can lift it up. And friends, are you ready? This is where the motion simulator gets awesome. Click on our little ramp and we want to make it static. That way it can't move and everything else can. Once you're done with that, you can hit play and bingo, you have got a spiral domino course. Once you're done, you can hit pause. You can use the slider to go back in and view what you built. And then also don't forget you can make a cool video to share with everybody. I am going to take the S640 version. I'm going to hit create video. After a few moments, you will have a video you can share with all your friends or on your social media. How cool is that? Of course, friends, you can go back and now that you've got the idea, you can see just how incredible you can make yours. You can also simply do things like control D, 
nudge it to the other side so there are two of them use the sweet mirror tool and bam you have got a wicked cool set of eyes i don't know just have fun see how incredible yours can turn out when you are totally finished don't forget if you go back to the main page of tinkercad you can click on the properties of your project make sure you add a title of course i've got a description and there's going to be a tutorial i'm going to put domino down here in my tags i'm going to put spiral in my tags and then if you want me to see what you did type hlmt23 and add it to your tags i'll search for that and i'll be able to give you a reaction as well of course make it public and then i always choose no derivatives because i want you to come back use the tutorial and gain some wicked cool skills a quick reminder friends if you click up here on the gallery if you shut off staff picks you can immediately see all the recent designs including the one i just shared if you see something you think is awesome of course make sure you click on it and give it a reaction let me quickly show you that search i'm going to type hlmt23 this is also a fantastic way to send me notes i'm going to of course switch to recent so we can see what is latest there is my tag project i will cancel that out in a minute of course friends then i get to check them out and give them reactions and also appreciate cool notes like the one i received from tinker swiss one thing i would like to ask friends is if i have given you a reaction if you want to remove the tag that would be cool because after a while there ends up being a ton of designs when we look through them and that way it's easier for me to see what is new friends remember if you ever create something awesome in tinkercad like say you follow my f1 car tutorial and make it into something incredible you can share it with me almost instantly by clicking this button generate a link copy the link and then you can reach out and share with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options aren't available, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I have a website with a tab dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are almost 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Cat. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.